Okay. All right. So I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, to you. it's one of those. Two. I'm listening. To you. Oh. So. You asked me. What'd you What'd you ask me? Uh. So. What's the uh, and so what did what uh I'm trying to figure out how to state it. No, ask the question again. You, you said, what was you saying about the Lord? He's from the tribe of Judah. The Lord is from the tribe of Judah, yeah. yeah. The significance of the founder of the tribe of Judah. The significance of the founder what, of the tribe of Judah. What, what major thing did he do that changed a lot of things in people's lives? What, will the Lord be from the tribe of Judah? When you read Genesis, the 49th chapter, hey, the Lord and the 12 when tribes. still alive. Literally. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. When the Lord, Jacob, our forefather of the 12 tribes, is Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. Yaquab in the Hebrew. Jacob was the forefather of the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. You know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, on down, right? Mm -hmm. The 12 tribes, yep. which are found right here. Yep. So the Lord was the forefather, I mean, uh, Jacob was the forefather of the 12 tribes, right? Yep. Simply put, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. That's the 12 tribes, right? Yeah. So, Jacob was the forefather of the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. The Lord, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, because there's no J's, E's, U's in, in Hebrew. Yep. So the Lord's name could not have been J's, E's, U's, or V's in Hebrew. The Lord's name is not Jesus, but for the sake of the conversation, who the world called Jesus the Christ, the anointed Savior, whose name is Hamashiach Yahawashah. The Lord's name is Yahawashah. That's his proper name. Anyway, he came out of the tribe of Judah, the Bible says in Hebrews. It's evident our Lord came out of the tribe of Judah, right? In Hebrews, the seventh chapter. Yeah. Now, the significance of that was Judah is the head of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the significance of that is that Judah is the head of all tribes, right? So when you read in the Bible. So when you read that, the significance of, 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 of Judah is that they are in the forefront. They are the leaders. They are the head. Now, you got Levi, who are the priests. The Levitical priesthood come out of them, but Judah is the head of the tribes. That's how we know today who is who. The believers know today. That's how we can call on our tribes now and no longer be confused, you know, by the covering cast, the Bible says, which was uh, which is a veil that's been over all nations. And that veil has been what? The deception, which is no one knows who the true children of Israel are. No one knows, um, you know, uh, 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 what the prophecies are referring to that the Edomites have done away with. Which, are, which is the wicked of the earth. All of these sorts of things, there's plenty of others. So when you read in, in, in um, Revelation 2, 9, right? I'll give you an example. Revelation 2, 9, it says, um, I, know thy, um, I know thy works and, and, and thy tribulation, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews or not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. They're speaking about who the wicked is on the earth. So the tribes show forth, you know, who the righteous line of, of the Lord's people are. That's through the tribes, yeah. which are today the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now, there's, there's what you call confusion of faces amongst the other nations that fall in that bloodline, right? But, but, but more specifically, these are the 12 tribes. So when you read Revelation 21, it tells you that on the, the gates of the kingdom of heaven is 12 gates. You know the names that's on the 12 gates? The names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, Revelation 21 and 12. No other nation's names are on there. The other nations, when you read Isaiah 14, are going to be in subjection to the nation of Israel. They're going to be the servants and handmaids in the kingdom. Now, what's your nationality by chance? Uh, what group? What, 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 what is your father's? What, 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 what's your father's nationality? Who is your father? My father? Yeah. Because you are well, who your forefather is, according to the Bible. Then that's Native American. So you are. So so your father, your father, was a Native American man. My grandfather. Your grandfather was a Native American man. Yeah. Okay. Because Numbers one and eighteen says you are from the it, seed of your father. It's the blood sin, but yes. No, no, no. It's not. It's, it's, it's your bloodline. Well, for American legal system, I'm not considered Native American. I got you. But <laughs> you are. Your bloodline is, is yeah. by by the seed of your father. Exactly. And if your father's father was a Native American, that would make you a Native American. Yeah. You see, that, that doesn't change. What what tribe are you from? Do you know. Or your, your, I can't your, pronounce it. And okay. The language is dead now. Okay. Because it's been killed. Okay. So, so the, the U.S. government made sure it was killed off. Okay. <laughs> so, so the truth, the, the the truth is, if that's indeed so, the Bible says the angels are going to separate the wicked from the just. Now, if, you, if your bloodline was a bloodline of an Edomite or another nation outside of the nation of Israel, that means that a 
in the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be a hierarchy. Everybody's going to be in the kingdom. People don't die and go away forever. Everybody's going to be in the kingdom. The scriptures speak about reincarnation. People don't understand that, meaning you come back in your generation. Regenerate means to come back in your genes and your times and your generations. So what's going to happen is, if you are not, I'm going to say this will be my parting thing I'll say. If you, if you are of the 12 tribes, then you're going to partake in rulership of the kingdom of heaven, according to the Bible, not according to opinion. If you are not, you might as well put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye, because you're going to be a servant and a slave in the kingdom of heaven. And, and, this, and, and this day, you, go, you will remember this day. You remember this time when you talk to a true man of the Most High, to a true man of the Lord. So you better hope and pray that you are the 12 tribes. I would tell that to anyone. You better hope and pray that you are of you know, the bloodline of Israel. Because if you're not pertaining to the Bible, not, a, not pertaining to Christianity, but pertaining to the words of God, and I got plenty of precepts I can show you, you will be a, 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 a servant in the kingdom of heaven. That's what the Bible says. Because these people here have been the servants of all the other nations, starting with the, with the chief of the enemies of the Most High, which are the Edomites, which are so-called white people. They call themselves Europeans, but they are Idumians, according to the Bible, and they are known as the Edomites. You know, that's backed up by scholarship, natural history, and the Bible. And the, the Edomites are, 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 are who's in rulership of the earth now. And their rulership is about the end. And their rulership is about the end because this place that we, that, we, that we stand in right here is called Babylon the Great, according to the Bible. The mother of harlots, the abominations of the earth. Why? Because they push sodomy, homosexual, uh, uh, um, homosexuals, you know, uh, can marry, can have children. That's against God's laws. All through the Bible, you, you can go to the Old Testament, New Testament, it's against God's laws, you know? So they push this forth in the earth. Not only do they push that, they push abominations. They push nothing but filthiness and vileness, which is women can, can, can dress provocatively, you know? They can show their bodies off, you know? Um, they, they, they push nothing but, uh, you know, uh, uh, transgression, which is breaking the laws of God. Everything that this land stands for is against God's laws. Now, I stand here as a veteran telling you that, as a man that's done served in the military and, been a, and, and have been a patriot to this nation. Mm -hmm. But knowing the truth is what makes you free, John 8 and 32. So now you've heard the truth. So you better hope that you are of the, of the line of, 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 of the Israelites. If you say indeed you are a Native American, because I've heard that a lot from a lot of people when they hear this truth come out. If you are of that line, then you will be spared. Then, then may the Most High, may this word resonate within you in the time, if it's the Lord's will, that you'll, that you'll return unto it. But if not, then I wish you the best, truly. You see? So I say Shalom.